This video is going to be on some uh, additions, enhancements I've made to, uh, to my Carolina Twin Troller. A lot of these additions uh, you can uh, do to uh, any tiny boat, John boat, and some larger boats as well. Uh, worth uh, considering. I'll try to save the ones uh, specific to uh, the Carolina Twin Troller for the uh, very end. Uh, so it's not to bore those of you that looking at this uh, considering uh, add-ons and things to include in your uh, John boats and uh, non-bass hunters or pelicans. Uh, the stuff I got to talk about with the twin troller uh, with the seat that'll pertain to those as well. So stick around if uh, you're interested in that uh, seat uh, setup which I learned about from another gentleman, uh, Jerry, and uh, some of his friends that shared some information with him. A uh, couple of things uh, that I got rid of on here and you might have them on some of your other uh, boats that just got in my way for the way I fish. Cleats. Had a couple of these on here. I took them off. The only thing that uh, I ended up doing with them was getting the line wrapped around and uh, snagged. And that was just frustrating and annoying to me. So I got rid of them. It's one less thing in the way. Uh, they were on the back too. And when trolling, that was a real pain. Uh, Something that I added to the front, everybody needs a bow line. Uh, you can tie up to a dock with this. Also, if you're not uh, going too shallow, you can uh, hook an anchor to it. Uh, deeper down water, I've got some uh, regular 550 cord here. Uh, I chose white for this because it's a little easier to see in the water. So if you got a fish coming up around the front and the water's not too stained, uh, you can help... Uh, give you the motivation to keep him from getting tangled up in that um, inside here something i always keep in here is a serious push pole uh, to keep this uh, somewhat compact i tie up the uh, end here these little duck feet that expand out uh, to keep it out of the way uh, this particular uh, model you can actually you can See those little divots, you can pull it out, it locks in place, and uh, can go uh, deeper. Uh, I've never had to use that. Typically, I use this when I'm skinning some really nasty muck, and uh, I basically run aground. One thing with this boat, uh, with the internal uh, trolling motors, uh, you can get yourself stuck if uh, you're not paying attention, going in areas sight unseen, you're not knowledgeable about. It can give you a, uh, quite a surprise of an un, uh, unwanted type. Another thing that uh, I've added on to the seats, and you can put these anywhere in your boat you want to, some magnets. I had some uh, zip ties that I had some uh, zingers connected to that I could uh, pull out those uh, pliers. Uh, this is just a whole lot easier for me uh, to do it that way. And I've got some uh, forceps on the other side here. Same thing. You can just pull them off of there. Uh, get the fish loose. And just let them slide back on there. Uh, less stuff to get tangled and uh, get frustrated about. Uh, use some paddle clips here. And I've got, uh, as the old saying in the military goes, uh, one is none, two is one. I've got uh, two paddles in here of the collapsible variety. Got paddle clips, they're just connected uh, to the back here, out of the way, unless I need them, which hopefully I won't. Uh, it's always good to err on the side of caution, though. And also, I've got another type of paddle clip here that I've got this piece, this length of uh, electric grade PVC connected to. And I've also got a D-ring at the end of this, what they call an airhead uh, cord. You can use this to uh, again dock up with. I've got a little D-ring on the end of it with this uh, T-piece at the end of this so it stays in there. And I've just got a uh, zip tie connecting it through here so I can just pull this off and I can put this into the ground if I'm in uh, pretty shallow water without having to put out an anchor and I can just pick this back up and push it 
back into place there. Uh, all I have to do if I want to use it to dock up, I just take this D-ring out of there and I can use this to hook up to a uh, dock on the uh, back end. Uh, this thing's also really good. You can uh, gear around some standing timber. You can also just wrap this around something if it's a little bit on a windy day and you can just uh, hook up to a piece of uh, timber in a uh, lake too and uh, keep you in place for your fishing. Also, of course, I've got an anchor here, claw variety, and I've put, put in these two eyes. I can wrap around a rope. I can just let out what I need to when I'm uh, anchoring, and uh, it keeps it out of the way and me having a whole lot less tangles and aggravation. And on the very back here is my plug. I got this connected to a uh, easily visible red D-ring, so I can just take this off and also off the tie strap. So it's going to be hard for me not to notice that I don't have this in the boat before I set off. Another thing, first aid kit. I just got this from Lowe's. It's a piece of PVC, an end cap. And a twist tie cap you just twist this down and then you got an airtight container to keep some of your stuff in that uh, you don't want to uh, get wet uh, phones that's a good place for one and of course you're going to want to have a good quality uh, rubber net to catch your fish in when i've got a cooler in here i've got another seat in here i've got a little bank tank in here course it's not going to sit down like that it's going to be on its side here so we've got that other stuff in here without a problem and I can still have a nice size net to catch the fish in and another thing you always want to have is going to be a fishing scale I've got a magnet hooked up so I can just pull this off and put it right back up there uh, if you don't have a fishing scale that doesn't have a magnet, you like that idea, you can just glue one onto the back side of that and clip it up there. The place I've got it here, I like because if I do get water, not do, I will get water in this thing because I fish in the rain, I fish when it's windy and you get a little chop and you get some uh, water in here. It's going to happen. So I keep it from getting wet by having it up a little bit higher. And that's as well, this came standard with these rod holders. I'd uh, strongly recommend you consider getting some rod holders uh, for your boat, uh, especially if you've uh, got uh, something that uh, you can uh, troll with. Uh, but I used to own a Bass Hunter, loved it. And uh, rigging it with the uh, trolling motor forward is great. And uh, you could, if you had a couple rod holders on that thing, you could uh, actively troll if it wasn't uh, too windy and frustrating for you with a rod holder on either side. And uh, there are days when the fish bite like crazy when you're doing that. Highly recommend it. Um, and one other thing, well, two other things. One, Boca Grip. This thing... Uh, highly recommend uh, and you get catfish bow fins uh, pickerel those toothy critters that helps you uh, handle them a whole lot with uh, less likelihood of getting hooked yourself and uh, I always like to have a knife I just got that rigged on here with some PVC so it's easily uh, referenced on here the last thing and once I get this uh, on YouTube and uh, I can put up a link, I'll send you one. I modified this a little bit from a design I got from uh, somebody else sharing an idea. But all it is is a half inch uh, PVC uh, with a bunch of uh, different types of connectors. And this keeps my tackle off the bottom. And when I'm moving, this seat back and forth I can also be able to have my tackle right with me instead of somewhere else on the boat so pushing that seat forward and backward I'm able to have my tackle right underneath me at all times 
And one thing I did different than that link I'll be sharing you, I used a little bit different material. They used 550 cord, just going back and forth back here to keep this stuff from sliding out the back. Uh, what I did, I just used uh, some uh, liner that you typically uh, use for uh, inside of uh, shelves, the cabinets uh, in the kitchen. And uh, I've only had it on here for a couple weeks. I don't know how well it'll hold up, but uh, I had it right at hand and I thought it might uh, work uh, well in this. And uh, looks a little bit better from my perspective too. Just use zip ties to uh, get that in place. And uh, the other thing I have that I haven't mentioned already, you always want to have a towel. So I've got one of those just zip tied on to uh, both seats. So uh, it's not be a problem if you got some slimy hands and, or you need to clean something off real quick, you got a towel at hand. Just regular little shop towel. Gets too dirty, uh, take it off, uh, wash it. Or just uh, when it gets super dirty, I just throw it out and put another one on. And aside from that, uh, what you should always have, some bug spray. We're getting into the fall, so you're not going to see sunscreen in there, but never a bad idea to have sunscreen as well. And I think I've covered all the uh, items of this boat now that uh, I've added on here over the uh, time that I've had it. A little over seven years. I've done another uh, video review on the uh, twin trawler itself. And another one on uh, some trailer enhancements that uh, you should consider as well. So if you're interested, take a look at those too. Uh, questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to uh, make mention in the uh, comments. And uh, thanks for watching.